so yeah, we were raised in a different, a little bit different way, and we always had this weekly, uh, weekly show that my mom used to uh, give us assignments to do all week because we were four daughters, and um, and then there were no one else but us, you know, in the winter, just us and a couple of friends, and uh, we don't see each other maybe once a week in the weekend, so we had just us together, and uh, there's uh, my mom hated TV, okay, like no TV. You're not gonna watch TV. You're not, and th there's no entertainment. Like you have your iPad, you have your phone, <laughs> you have PlayStation. You had nothing. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> literally nothing. So uh, we had ourselves to to do to write to uh, to make plays and to sing and to to have piano lessons and ballet lessons. And then she used to make us a stage every Saturday. And then we go, the four of us, start making. A show for her like okay what did you work on for the whole week and now you have uh, like two hours to show me what you did okay so this is what you used to do and then when I I, I try to remember and re like recollections of my childhood it was really funny I love to read and I started reading when I was 11 actually and my mom, she's a huge reader and she has this amazing library. And I was amazed always with my mom because she has the ritual in the morning. She wakes up, she takes her coffee, she smokes a cigarette, and then she starts reading a book. And then the book ends in like a couple of hours. And I'm like, wow, this is like past. Okay. And I'm intrigued by all these books. Did you read all these books? They're like, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I want to read. I want to start reading what you're reading. And she said, this is, you cannot read that. So she started giving me simpler books. And then uh, when I was 12, I'm like, okay, I want to start reading from your books, not the books you get me. And then she started, she said, uh, okay, you can start reading Anis Mansour. And I'm like, okay, he's, he's cool. She said, yeah, yeah, you, you, you're going to fall in love with him. Huh? And I'm fine. Okay. And I started reading Anis Mansour. And then I moved on to Nagi Mahfouz, and then I moved on to Abbas al and it was very hard for me to understand. I was like 13 then, and I'm like, okay. Uh, and then she said, okay, try to read Yusuf Idris, and he was a friend of my dad's. So I'm like, okay, yeah, cool, this is nice, and I know the guy, so it's, it's perfect. And then um, I started going to a French school, so I started reading... Uh, Jean Paul Sartre, Victor Hugo, Molière, and, and then English, Shakespeare, and... Did I choose to be an actress? No, I didn't. I wanted to be a director, actually, and at a certain point of time, I wanted to be, I wanted to study political science, and another period of time, I wanted to be a surgeon. <laughs> I wanted to be so many things. And I think maybe acting is giving me the chance to be, or to live all all the, the, the lives I wanted or all the, the dreams I wanted to, to, to achieve in life, I'm, I'm actually achieving them through being an actress. Um, and what, what actually concerns me in being an actress is, is while I'm, I'm, I'm being an actress. I actually don't care about everything else. Everything else is um, occupational hazard. Okay, uh, being under the lights, it's something I didn't choose. It just comes with the job. A, a while ago, not so far, but I think within a couple of years, I realized that uh, I have to make use of this platform. Like, I do have a platform, and I haven't been using it, and it's very important for people who has a platform and I didn't run for this, but it just came to me. I have to use it in, um, I don't know, uh, acknowledging the things I want, uh, promoting the things I believe in, and just uh, supporting the people I want to support or the causes I want to, do, to support. So this is actually a very important thing to have a platform and to have people who loves you or who wants to listen to you. You have to be very responsible. You have to pick your battles very properly, and you have to know uh, that if you don't know some, if you don't know about th something, you just don't go and just speak about it. Okay, I don't know politics. Okay, so I cannot go and make a political statement 
and I actually don't know. So this is very, um, it has, it, ha it has um, a consequence, okay? If you're aware of, of a, a big, um, if you're aware of a situation or if you want to, if you want to influence people about doing something, fine, but you have to know what you're going to do or you have to know all the aspects of this thing you want to promote and then go ahead and do it. But you just don't go and, and talk uh, religious things and you're not that aware religiously or uh, politically or psychologically, whatever. You just have to have all the background needed to promote whatever you want to promote. So yeah, you are responsible for whatever you say, for whatever you think, because whether you like it or not, there's always <laughs> a camera somewhere. <laughs>
I care about life. I care about I care about our planet. I care about uh, trees. I care about my kids. I care about animals. I care about the most. Um, I care about kindness. I wished we had more kindness in this world so that people would just stop having grudges. Each and every one of us is a pillar of light and happiness, so don't seek happiness in other people. You are happiness. So um, just believe that. You'll be a strong person. You'll be a happy person. You'll be a successful person. Because our, I believe our dilemma in life is, is happiness. We always seek things to make us happy. And this is um, what drives people, okay? Uh, if you have money, you're going to be happy. If you have a girlfriend, you're going to be happy. If you're married, you're going to be happy. If you, have, if, you're, you're gonna, if you have kids, you're going to be happy. Well, if you're not happy, you're not going to get any of those. So... Believe that you are the source of happiness. No one is going to make you happy unless you, yourself. So this is the major thing, the only thing I actually believe in life.